What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about rolling your vinyl over the edges to make a clean install and also trimming to make it look very, very professional. Today, um, we're doing my fender. As you've seen in my previous video, we already wrapped this. We already did a video on prep work and things like that. So the first thing we wanna do is uh, clean up these edges a little bit. So I'm gonna use some heat manipulation and lay this vinyl down a little bit cleaner before we even cut anything. So heating the edge a little bit like this, not too hot, really helps you find your edge when it comes down to cutting. Um, you definitely don't wanna mess that up. All right guys, so before we start, I wanna talk a little bit about pre-masking parts of the car, like the bumper headlights and you know offset panels when you're wrapping something. It really makes a big difference when it comes to working the vinyl. So as you can see here, I put a piece of tape right here on the headlight and it's very important because it actually helps reduce the tension or the tack of the vinyl. So as you can see right here, just with the vinyl on the uh, headlight, the tack is really high. So it's, it's using a lot of effort and force for me to pull this up, um, which can, can cause problems right here because this is a relief cut and you can risk actually ripping this all the way through the fender and it'll be a waste of your effort and time and vinyl. So let me show you again, I'm a squeegee this all the way flat. This is the edge of the fender, this is the tape, and this is just the bare headlight. Look how hard it is for me to pull that back. But when it gets to the tape, easy. So it's very important to have that tape there. Same thing for here. This is the edge of the fender, this is the headlight and the masking tape right here. I'm gonna try to pull this back and you can see it's holding on there pretty well. But when we get to that edge where the tape is, it'll just come right off, watch. Look at that, easy. This is the bumper, this is the fender. So there's no tape on this in this bumper at all. Look how difficult it is for me to peel this up. Look at that. At that point, you can already see I already overstretched the vinyl. On the headlight, the first thing we're gonna do is trim a little bit of the excess vinyl off. Easiest way to do that is just follow your masking tape. I do recommend doubling up on the masking tape, but with a fresh blade, okay, you want to be very careful. And I'm going to cut about half an inch. Half an inch away from the edge of where I want to tuck in. So I literally just glided that fresh blade on top of that vinyl, on top of that masking tape, and it just cut right through. So that's really important to have a fresh blade every single time. Again, just going to lightly just run this with no effort at all. I'm using Vivid's new um, cutter right here. It's really nice, made out of plastic with metal in interior. Um, it has a little piece right here to cut like knifeless tape and things like that. It uses 30 degree blades, which are really nice, simple. The back part comes right off so that you can actually cut a piece of the um, blade off if you need a fresh one, so it's really convenient. Uh, you get that on their website in the link below. I'm just gonna just cut that off. I cut that off and the vinyl is on the masking tape right here. It's gonna be super easy to actually tuck the vinyl in. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is tuck this corner in. So it's very easy actually. You just wanna pull this up a little bit and we're gonna dry stretch it. So I'm just gonna pull it back and we're just gonna pull like a triangle and just get it around. So all I did was just Pull it away and wrap it around with my thumb. Now we're just gonna hit it right there. So before we cut that, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck the rest of this in. But as you can see, it, it glides right off that tape easily. Look at this. Look how easy it is to just lay that in there. I like to start right at the edge right here hug it, and then just run it all the way down that way. Same here. Start at the very tip of that corner, run it, and then bring it out. So I'm not gonna go all the way down to this fender. Um, you could use knifeless tape, but just for demonstration purposes, as you can see, that corner looks good. You can finish it off with a little bit of heat. Yeah, don't mind that little piece in that corner there because the rose gold underneath, actually, that piece is sticking out. So if this was just my bare uh, factory painted 
fender, that will be completely smooth and clean. And now I'm just gonna finish up this side. Very easy, just lightly pierce the vinyl. I'm, I'm laying it towards the headlight side so I can get a nice clean cut inside. All right, and there's your edge. So same thing with this corner. Just gonna pull it up right to that edge. I'm gonna just pull it back a little, cold stretch it down. And hit it with a little bit of heat. Use the hard card side just to get it through. Again, to be very careful, I would just go as far as you can on that edge. And just release that. So we have that already. Next, I'm gonna pull this up and tuck it into the bottom of the fender. Okay, so just enough right there. And we're just gonna push it in. Just like that. Use a hard card side. And just finish it off and get a nicer tuck. It's gonna be tight, so you do have options to pull the bumper off a little bit from the mounting point. I'm pressing down against the bumper and just slightly glide that blade. Soften the vinyl just a little bit. Tuck that in, use the hard card side. So next we gotta do the uh, headlight. Here we have too much vinyl from that edge. So I'm just gonna go and find that edge on the headlight and then just very gently run that on that masking tape all the way down. Then use the squeegee and just roll that in. Okay. And now we use the hard card side because it's a little tighter and get it in there. Now you could use other tools that are way finer that can fit through there. I got this one on eBay, pretty cheap. Uh, it's really, really fine. So you can just use this to tuck into that tight spot and lay that vinyl smooth, just like that. Same up here, and that's it. All right guys, there's another look at the fender as you can see, looking phenomenal. The key is you don't wanna to put too much vinyl tucked on this edge here. You wanna get a quarter inch, I would say all the way around. My headlight does pop out a little bit, so if you were to trim right on the edge, top and bottom, you can tuck that vinyl in and have full coverage, no problem. Same with here, a quarter inch, and you should be able to tuck that in nicely. Sometimes if you want and you're not in a rush, take a piece of vinyl, lay it there, okay? And then just practice wrapping around those edges and just to get it right and get it down packed. But for the most part, it's looking pretty damn good. Don't mind it in there. The rose gold is showing a little bit because I do have a gap from the headlight. Okay, there it is, contoured around. What do you guys think, huh? Pretty nice color, huh?